dude, this is so cool. Like so much of our world is dependent just on this. When you, when ice forms because of the shape of water, right? The H2O, it, it forms a 3D hexagonal shape. Okay. A 3D hexagonal shape that just has a little bit in the center there. Air, which is how ice floats, right? Which is exceedingly insane if you think about that. Because a solid piece of matter compared to the liquid form is going to be more dense, right? The coming together, the atoms are going to be closer together when they're formed in, in the solid form. So that means that it's going to sink, right? It, because you don't have, you have that density, that higher density. So then it's going to sink in a, in a liquid form of its own matter. Guess what? But ice floats. And what that means is that it has layers upon layers that happens in, in accordance with that. So that's when you have the ice core data and you look at the permafrost and you, ha and you have the core and you drill down. That means over time, you can look at that little pocket of CO2, that little pocket of atmosphere in the center of the ice, that little hexagon, that little air pocket in the center. You can sample that. You can sample that and know what the atmosphere was like because of that little pocket in the hexagonal shape within the ice. Isn't that so cool? And we get more than just atmospheric data. We actually get pollen data too. So we know what pollen means, which means that we know what type of uh, the, the, the state of the atmosphere and the, the state of the environment was. And that's how we know that there was like mass ice world stuff going on because the pollen goes down, right? Because there weren't any plants. Isn't that so cool, guys? I mean, that's legit science. Isn't that amazing? I love it, dude. I love it. I love it, dude. 